Welcome all grade 9 students to the Science Nest YouTube channel. Today our lesson is Applications of Microorganisms. In this video we are going to learn about the types of the microorganisms and also the beneficial effects of the microorganisms. First of all, we will take an idea who are microorganisms. Microorganisms are unicellular or multicellular organisms which cannot be seen clearly with the naked eye. Most microorganisms are favorable to humans and other living beings, but some are harmful. Now we will see what are the features of microorganisms. Microorganisms have a simple structure and they can grow very fast. They have a high rate of reproduction and they can uh, adapt for different environmental conditions. They have different modes of nutrition. We can see there are unicellular microorganisms and multicellular microorganisms in the environment. There are five categories of microorganisms, bacteria, fungi, algae and protozoa. Viruses also considered ad as microorganisms, uh, but virus show the living and non-living features. But we study them under microorganisms. First of all, we are going to learn about bacteria. All the bacteria are unicellular and we can observe them through a microscope. There are different body shapes of bacteria. They, they widely spread in every type of environments on the earth. Examples for bacteria, milk and products related to milk, we can observe Lactobacillus bulgaricus. Anthrax disease is causing by Bacillus anthracis bacteria. And bacteria used in vinegar production is Acetobacter aceti. Cholera disease is causing by Vibrio cholera. Let's move to learn about fungi. In this picture, you can observe a type of fungi named as mucus. These are Saccharomyces. This fungi may be unicellular or multicellular. And there are reproductive structures of some fungi can be seen with the naked eye. Mushroom is an example for a reproductive structure of some fungi. And they can thrive on moist surfaces. Examples, fungi on bread are muca and yeast means saccharomyces. Next topic is protozoa. In this picture, you can observe a type of protozoa named as amoeba. In this picture, you can observe Euglena. This is Paramecium and these are Plasmodium. These protozoa are unicellular and they are microscopic. And they have some structures for their locomotion. Amoeba have got pseudopodia for locomotion. Euglena have got flagella for their locomotion and paramecium have got cilia for their locomotion. They can live in aquatic environments as well as in the organisms. Now we are going to learn about algae. You can see this is Chlamydomonas, Spirogyra, Diatoms. These are examples for algae. Algae are unicellular or multicellular. There are two types of body forms in the algae, like filamentous and thallus body form. Example for the filamentous body form is Spirogyra, and example for the thallus body form is Chlamydomonas. Some microscopic algal can floating on water surface, and they are known as phytoplanktons. Examples are diatoms. They possess chlorophyll and have the ability of photosynthesis. They can photos, do photosynthesis and produce their own food. Algal varieties such as ulva visible to the naked eye. These are microorganisms, uh, but ulva can visible to the naked eye. Next microorganism type is virus. 
there are some figures of virus. This virus cannot be observed by the light microscope. We have to use electron microscope to see them. This virus display both living and non-living characteristics. One non-living characteristic is they can multiply only inside the living cells. Their non-living characteristics are they have no cellular organization. They do not show the living characteristics such as respiration and growth. Examples for virus are Influenza virus, HIV, Ebola virus, Dengue virus and also the Corona virus is also an example for this virus. Now we are going to learn about the environments and the substrates of microorganisms. Microorganisms live within all ecosystems on the earth where all living organisms survive. Microbial world spreads among soil water and for about up to six kilometers of the atmosphere they can survive even on and within the body of plants and also animals microbes can survive even under extreme environmental conditions they are hot water springs salt marshes and liquids such as petrol and diesel now we are going to learn about the effects of microorganisms. There are beneficial effects and also harmful effects of microorganisms. First of all, we are going to learn about the beneficial effects of them. They are applications of microorganisms in agriculture, applications of microorganisms in medicine, applications of microorganisms in industries and applications of microorganisms in environmental conservation. Now we are going to learn about these fields one by one. Applications of microorganisms in agriculture. The first application is gene technology. Crop harvest is enhanced and enriched by producing drought resistant and pest resistant crops and crops with high nutrients and taste. In this instance, we can take pest resistant drought resistant and high nutrient genes from somewhere and we can we can inject these genes into the crops and we can take the crops with these features and biological pesticides and weedicides are developed using microorganisms in gene technology now we will see some examples for gene technology genes of the bacterium Irvinia uredevora is used in developing golden rice enriched with vitamin A. Genes of the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis is muted in Siamese genome to produce toxins to crop pests. Next application is nitrogen fixation. It's a natural application. Rhizobium, a type of bacteria that lives on the nodules of legumes such as beans, peas, has the ability to absorb atmospheric nitrogen directly. This process is known as nitrogen fixation. The plant roots cannot absorb this atmospheric nitrogen directly. So these bacteria help for the fixing of nitrogen into the plants. This is a figure of mimosa plant root and the, there are no, root nodules and inside the root nodules there are rhizobium bacteria. Not only the rhizobium, acetobacter, a free living bacteria can also fix nitrogen into the plant bodies. Rhizobium and acetobacter are using as biofertilizers. Next application is producing compost. Compost is prepared by rapid decomposition of organic matter by microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi. Compost adds mineral to the soil systematically and makes favorable conditions for plants to grow. Next application is biopesticides. Some of the microorganisms can be used as biopesticides to control insect pests that cause damage to the crops. 
Examples, the fungus Alternaria is used to combat the aquatic weed Salvinia. Let's learn about the applications of microorganisms in medical field. The first application is producing antibiotics. Chemicals produced in the body of a microbe to destroy or sabotage another microorganism are known as antibiotics. This is the definition for antibiotics. Fungi and bacteria are used to produce antibiotics. Antibiotics can kill bacteria and fungi, but they do not fight against infections caused by viruses. Although antibiotics are not much harmful to human, they can cause side effects if used medical if used without medical advice. So we have to use these antibiotics with the medical advice. There are antibiotics against bacteria infections. They are penicillin, amoxicillin, tetracycline, and erythromycin. And also there are antibiotics against fungi infections like griseofulvin. Next application in the medical field is producing vaccines. We can produce vaccines from weakened microbes. They are polio, tuberculosis and measles. And also we can produce vaccines from killed microbes. They are cholera, influenza and typhoid. And also we can produce vaccines by body parts of microbes like tetanus and diphtheria. And we can produce vaccines by the body parts of microbes using genetic engineering. That example for that kind of vaccine is hepatitis B. Next application is producing antitoxins. Biochemical substances produced by pathogenic bacteria which harm the host's activity is known as toxins. Example is tetanus. These are also applying as vaccines now we are going to learn about the applications of microorganisms in industries that means in industrial microbiology first application is producing biogas a mixture containing organic material such as straw cow dung and water is used to produce biogas Anaerobic bacteria such as Methanococcus react on these organic substances and biogas is produced. Biogas mainly consists of methane gas. This is an energy source we can use for our day-to-day -day works. Next application is metal ex extraction. The most simple and effective technology for metal extraction from low-grade ores by use of microbes is known as bioleaching. The metal extraction that is doing by using microorganisms is known as bioleaching. Uranium and copper are such two metals that are extracted by bioleaching. Next application is production of yogurt. In this picture, you can observe the steps of yogurt production. Heat cow's milk for 15 to 30 minutes in a temperature between 88 Celsius to 95 Celsius. Then remove the cream. Add sugar and gelatin as required. Add culture yogurt sample to milk in small amount in 60 Celsius temperature and mix well. Put the mixture into plastic cups. Keep the mixture for 6 to 7 hours in the temperature between 40 Celsius to 45 Celsius. Cover the cups and keep in the refrigerator under 4 Celsius. Now we will see the reasons for each steps. When boiling, unfavorable bacteria in milk get destroyed. Lactobacillus and Streptococcus are used as culture in producing yogurt. They turn lactose into lactic acid. Since it creates an acidic medium, growth of other microorganisms get retarded and enhanced preservation. Refrigerating further retards bacterial growth. Next application is products based on plant fibers. 
Plant fibers are used for various products and these fibers are separated by using bacteria. Coconut, hemp, palmyra, agave plant are used to get fiber. The compound pectate which is among the fibers keep them bound together. The pectinase enzyme which is produced by relevant bacteria helps to separate these fibers by digesting pectate. The last application of microorganism is applications of microorganisms in environmental con conservation. The technology used to remove environmental pollutants using microorganisms is known as bioremediation. There are some examples for bioremediation. Decompose the organic waste matter in polluted water by microorganisms. Decompose oil layers on the ocean by pseudomonas bacteria. Remove heavy metals in water. Heavy metals are chromium, lead, mercury to produce biodegradable plastics. There are some features of microorganisms that cause the microorganisms to use economically important large scale products. Now we are going to discuss about these features of microorganisms. Growth rate and metabolic rate is very high. Varieties of microbes exist that are capable of acting and multiplying on various substances and possess simple genes. Can be obtained at low rates of free of charge from the environment. We have to use a small amount of energy for industries using microbes. And also environmental damage is very low. This is the end of the part 1 of lesson 1. We will meet on the next video with the adverse effects of microorganisms. Thank you for watching. Subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to watch more videos related to you.